So we're doing some flight testing today. We've got a new video system we're trying out, a 5.8 gigahertz Amway 1000 milliwatt system. We're going to make sure that works properly. Here's the takeoff roll. And we're up and away. There's a bit of turbulence in the air. Until we get up to, oh, about 60 meters or so high. And then it smooths out real nice because we've got some wind coming off of the ocean. And it's all pretty much the same temperature out there, so it uh, it smooths out right about there. So here's uh, a bit later in the flight. Um, we're not really expecting uh, any trouble with the flight systems or anything. Um, the, the video system is working really well. You'll notice the amperage in the lower left-hand corner is right around 50 amps. So that's for both engines, both motors we're climbing. Then you'll see it start to climb there, 68 amps, and then drop to 25. So that's exactly half of what it was. And you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble with the airplane. Not quite sure why it's not flying straight, having to put in a bunch of right rudder. So here I chopped the throttle. What's happened there is I've lost the, the port or the left engine. The left electric motor has burned up. Here I'm trying to put some more throttle back into it. And temporarily, I get a restart. I am able to start the motor back up. Um, but, and you know, I'm having to put right rudder in again. And starting to figure out what the problem might be. And that's uh, it's about when the motor just completely gives up. And I decide to pull the throttle back. And just glide back to the runway. Because... I've got lots of uh, height here. You see I have about 580 meters of altitude and uh, a little under 2 kilometers away. So obviously I have better than a, than a 4 to 1 glide path. So that won't be a problem getting back. And I decided to just play it safe. You can see the smoke here caught by one of the GoPros coming out of the motor pod restart and the other one happened to catch it too we were really lucky at least to have the gopros looking at the motor while it burned up so you guys could enjoy it here that that start that sharp pitch down moment is me putting in the speed brakes you can see we're able to point the thing just about it straight down without building up excessive speed the the speeds uh, at the lower right hand corner and it stays, for the most part, below 70 kilometers an hour, uh, even though we're in a steep spiral dive. So that's a really handy way to get the aircraft down. And so, yeah, look at that. Wow. So there's our runway right underneath us. So here we're, we're coming in on final. And coming in pretty steep got the air brakes on and this aircraft you can you can be high and you can be fast and those brakes will just slow it right down so here's the landing and we'll be we'll be taxiing back ironically the hardest part of uh of flying the airplane in one engine was not that but it was the taxiing it wanted to turn around to one side but i was able to taxi it back right to where we were so really no complaints about the handling of this aircraft the only regret I have is that I wish that I'd flown it more with the engine out for those of you that are interested here's more on why the motor failed mm -hmm.